magician. Number three, and I got my kids with me. You guys want to say hi? Hello. Hi. Where are we? Helpers! My kids have been stealing my shoes, but I was doing some two shoe drills. You can actually do it with anything. In a moment, you're going to find out about those. But let's start with our tops. All right, the chest, extend, up, down, up, between, between, ah. in the back, under the butt, maybe behind your head just for fun. I don't normally do that one. Uh, I want to hit some wraps. Doing about five each, it's not a big deal. Go as fast as you can for the space that you have. Don't break your mom's stuff. If you need to go outside and do this, that's fine. Or go slow enough that you know you won't make a mistake. Some slaps from above. And from below. All right, now let's do some tea to tree, tree, and tea service, like here, would you like some tea? And tree, there are your branches. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about that, let's just get it, get that position. If you want to, you can shoot from tree, catch in tea, tea service, extend the platter, would you like some tea? Would you like some tea? No, I like the bowl. Would you? <laughs> Smile. Right. Uh, T and tree. T. We're doing our left hand now. If you didn't catch that, just getting the body warmed up and also working on some basic handling skills. We want our hands to be familiar with the ball. We always have to reintroduce your hand and the ball. You can be friends again. All right. What else I have today? Uh, oh, pet the dog is going to be new. So uh, with my two shoe drills. If you started the high ball control challenge, then hopefully you've gone through this. I like to use two shoes to challenge me. I think when I made the uh, challenge video, you just have one object, which is fine. If you're getting pretty good at it, you can begin to work those shoes out, which allows you to demonstrate that you have even more control of the ball. You can do that. That's not what we're doing right now, though. For now, we're just good. Okay, baby, don't let me hit you, I don't want to hit you. We'll do pet the dog. So that control piece, there's a part where your hand has to go from one side to the other. So to practice that, and without palming the ball, because yes, I could palm the ball, but that's cheating. I'm gonna go from here to here, an inverted arm, right there. And I want to get used to that. That's allowing me some practice at going from this side to this side. To start, as you learn this, go from T, to inverted T, T, and it looks a lot like I'm working on my whip nene <laughs> from 2003 or whatever. All right, here we go. Huh. You don't have to do the bending thing. If you need to, do it as far as you need to, but then eventually you want to get here. Ooh, ah, ooh, working on that top high ball control, and it looks exactly like this kind of control. So work on that just a little bit more. It's a new skill for all of you, probably. That's probably like one person I've done this with, maybe. Maybe two. All right. So some people just call this arm twists. So we'll call it. Let's do the left hand. It's going to be harder, right? If you need to roll down and stop, that's fine. Just get used to the touch. Whatever it takes to get used to this. That looks really hard. How are you not right. dropping it when you go upside down? I know your dad's made of magic. And you guys are made of magic too. Figure this out. And then once you get good at it, do it quick. Try to do it as quickly as you can. I'm not palming it right now. If you want I can extra palm it, good, but I'm not. Good, then do more than you're supposed to. Yeah, that's right. Do a lot extra. Baby, don't touch the screen at all, please. I'm swiping the. Are you swipe? Yeah, I'm afraid you're going to stop my video, though. You were really close to stopping my video. Thank you, love. That was nice of you, though. You're trying to take care of me, huh? Move that out of the way. Thanks. All right. I spent a little extra time on that because it's brand new. Let's move on to other things. Where are we at? I gotta get my day on there. There we go. All right, pound dribbles followed by, uh, yeah, pound dribbles followed by low ball challenge or whatever. 
All right, so pound dribbles. I'm gonna use my two shoes. You can use anything you want, it doesn't matter. Brandon brought me some extra shoes. So I'm gonna do pound dribbles outside my foot and outside my defender's foot. I'm in a deep wide stance. You can't be doing this. That prepares you for being the worst basketball player on the court. I wanna be fast, I wanna be able to move laterally, I wanna be able to split and move downhill, get to the basket in either direction. So I'm sitting low, I'm out here, pound low. And you can pause the video if you need to. I'm going fast. I'm not actually going fast, I'm going somewhat fast. If you need more time, that's fine. Pause the video. I'm gonna move on to my other hand at my speed. each of the three levels, low, mid-range, high. Okay, we got our pound dribbles. Now I'd like you to do one of the challenges. Some of you have started high ball control, that's fine. Some of you have started low ball control, that's fine. If you have not, start one now. So low ball, if you're doing the low ball control, I'll show you the first couple of levels. And then I'll ask you to pause the video and you can work on those on your own for about five minutes. Everything's gonna be fives and 25s in our workouts, almost always. So here's low, just getting our crossover going. Getting our crossover going. You don't have to have the shoes here, but they usually don't bother anything. Nice and tight on this crossover, nice and low. Level one is 100 of these with no mistakes. One touch, one dribble. If you bobble it or lose it, or you have to double dribble on the side, then you have lost. Um, actually, like right there, I would have to start my hundred over. Sometimes we'll incorporate this. And that's a great drill, but we haven't done that in the levels yet. Next one, if you pass that level, if you did your hundred, then you're to a wide crossover. So we're trying to get a hundred of those with no mistakes. Look up often. After that, I think we had a bit of a body shift. You wanna make sure we're incorporating that body shift. If you move your body, you'll move people. If you get bored with the body shift and you're still working on this level three body shift, you can actually move the opposite direction. Trying to get 100 in a row. This is a fun one because you can fake people one way but actually going this way, off to the left or your right, whatever. Um, then after that, if you've got that, you'd go into a full glide drop, which uh, here's your glide. Step to the middle, step to the middle, step to the middle. So I'm stepping to the middle, stepping out. And you can do that back and forth. If you get 100 of those, then you're here. Glide and drop, glide and drop, glide and drop, 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 drop. 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 It's the same as the glide, but I'm doing it back here. So please work on your low ball control. Work on that for about four more minutes. If you've already been working for a minute, then count that time. Go ahead and pause the video and then start me back up when you have completed five total minutes of work on low ball control. Ready, set, go. Rather, pause. Get just a little bit of work in there, so.
tired. Hopefully, you ready for the next thing? Let's get it. I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm not gonna quit. We got dog Dad, pose. Jimmy's having a little treat. You guys can make wise decisions, you know. It's and then sweet. hip raises. So, dog pose, down on all fours, no knee touching. Oh, grab my ball. <sighs> this is where we'll start. This exercise will need to be done in sets along with the hip extensions. So, I'll go here. And knees don't get to touch and I'm stabilized. So if you can see me from the side, knees are almost touching, but not. Nah, call this dog pose. That's like any a biscuit mode. And we're here for 25 counts, 25 seconds. Don't let your core sink. And then we'll do five with one hand. Keep that, keep those knees down. And then five with the other hand. And that is one set. We'll go through three cycles total or more if you're trying to be on that next level. Hip extensions. These are a bit tough. Here we go. These are gonna require a little accountability from you. You have to squeeze to make this work. So when I do my hip extensions, one leg down, one leg out. I'll lift my hips into the air. Your elbows can control you a little bit, but I encourage you not to do that. Don't use your elbows. You can keep them across your chest. And lift those hips all the way up. You can leave this leg anywhere you want, just don't set it down. Count to five. That's one of five. Up, two, three, four, five. One second down. Up, two, three, four, five. One second down. Three, two, three, four, five. My body tried to twist, it tried to fall, and that's where my core needs to activate. Hold that core straight and solid. Four, two, one second down, and five, two, three, four, five. All right, I need you to do two more cycles at a minimum. So you're back down to dog for a 25 count with two hands. After 25 count of dog with two hands, don't stretch it out too far. We're in here controlling the hips. We're letting your hips get involved and then go one hand for a five count. And then the other hand. Keep those knees at the same level. Don't twist out. That means your body is out of control. Your core is not doing its job. Keep it level. Knees straight across. All right, get another two sets of those and two of the hip extension. I'll let you do that now. Go ahead and pause it. I don't want to take the time to put in video, but I'll put in my work after this. So pause it. These go do your exercise. And when you come back, we'll give you just a moment's rest and we'll go right into the next one. All right, we're gonna do box jump and lunge and reverse lunge. Again, this will be a minimum of three cycles. So we'll, each one will have five total reps in a set. And you'll do three cycles of those. So box jump, you can use anything. Um, be careful, be careful, careful. This is the activity that Mr. Craig took all the skin from his shin. Right, you can totally do this on a couch. I'm using a chair. A couch is very, very safe. In fact, just for fun, you know what? Since we're beginners here, I'm gonna go do it on the couch. But it's just five reps. Jump up, put your feet on it, and jump right back down. We're going for 25 on this, though. I lied to you, the lunges will do five. These are 25. So I'm going up and down 25 times. Load off that floor, really pop off the floor. I actually prefer the chair a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna use the chair. The chair is much steadier. Feels like it lets me control myself. 
A little more. Sorry for the delay. You're probably done with your 25. If you ever feel like you're not gonna make it, don't. Land on the floor, let it happen later. After 25 of those, called box jump. We're gonna do forward reverse lunges, looks like this. We're gonna do five. Here we go. And back. And that's one. Let's do five of those. Try to use good form. Go way back in the back. Keep your knee behind your foot. You don't want to be up here too far ahead. Foot out in front. Stretch way back. Three, four, almost. Last one right here. Control it. Try not to bounce. There you go. And five. So, two more sets. 25 box jumps, or couch jumps, or chair jumps. Then, you are alternating front lunge and reverse lunge. Two more cycles through. Ready, set, go. It's gonna be tough. I know you're working. Keep at it. Hopefully you pause the video. Some trainers will tell you that you want to reach level 10 on a strong day. And usually that means two minutes of strong exercise. And we're talking things that massive heart rate, major sweating going on. Um, now, when you play basketball, just straight up basketball, that's not quite what they're looking for. They're looking for this place where your muscles reach a feeling of failure. So for some of you, during those box jumps, you felt like, oh, I just can't make it. That's good. Don't get hurt. But that's the place at which you start to develop some of those fast twitch muscles. Also during the lunges. Lunges, you have that feeling of almost like discomfort in the legs, but you gotta continue to control yourself because when you feel that discomfort, that's the first time you were starting to develop those fast twitch muscles. And you need those fast twitch muscles to get faster, right? So get to that place of failure or you haven't really done much tonight. And I know you're there if you've been going through all the sets. All right. We're gonna do back leg baby bounds and shot fake negative step. So we'll start to use that plyometric stretch. Remember the back of the leg, we want it to stretch that muscle like a rubber band. This is all I'm doing. Think about your core and your butt sliding forward. Try to get the slide forward. Really explode off that back leg. Close to 25. Switch legs. I haven't been keeping count of listening to my kids. <laughs> Alright, so you'll do two more sets of that, but I gotta do the next one. On this, you can do ball or no ball, but we'll do shot fake, negative step. Which, if you want to use the ball, you would catch, shot fake and then negative step to push. That negative step from here, you don't have any plyometric spring built. You just have loose muscle. It's not ready to run. So you won't be very fast. You'll be gravity fast. Whatever you can fall at, that's how fast your body will be. But muscles are faster than gravity. So I'm gonna push back and create more plyometric force by squish stretching that muscle out it also sometimes draws your defender closer because you appear to be backing up. You're going, uh, and then you go, ah, oh no, I'm scared. Just kidding. I'm springing plyometrically. So we're going here. If you don't have a ball, or don't want to use the ball because it's complicated, pretend to catch, uh, and it's just two steps. It's I'm tapping to shoot because I'd normally be catching one, two to shoot, and I fake and I plyometric pop off the negative step. We call it a negative step because this is zero. This is a positive step. This is a negative step. All right, here we go. We're gonna do five each side. I'm going to the right first. So I'm catching. To the right, catching, negative step. You don't have to dribble if you're not allowed in your house. 
negative step, catch, pump fake, negative step. Last one, catch. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweet boy, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I can't promise that I'm a safe person to be right behind tonight. I'm so sorry. You okay? Okay, I just kicked my son. All right, here we go. And catch, pump fake, negative step. And I'm off. Let's do the other side. So catch, pump fake, negative step. I go into my left hand now. Notice I have to bring that ball across my body with a quick rip. I do it chest high real quick. So there we go. Catch, pump fake, negative step. Don't dribble if you don't have to. Catch, pump fake, negative step. Catch, slow, pump fake. Sink into that negative step. Two more times. Pump fake, negative step. Last one. Catch, pump fake, negative step. And I'm gone. All right, two more sets of those. So if you can remember back. I can of remember back. <laughs> oh yeah, 25 each leg. Those little baby bounds of the leg. Two more sets of those. And your pump fake negative step. Pump fake negative step. Pump fake negative step. It doesn't matter which leg you use as long as you teach your body one way to negative step. I'm a happy coach. All right, go ahead and pause this, get two more sets, then we'll be ready to go on to almost the very end. Great job. All right, hopefully you're back. We're gonna go on to your shoulder bumps, your bar arm bumps and your shoulder bumps. Let's get 25 of each. Sorry, I didn't move that out of the way. So we're here. You can do with or without the ball, it doesn't matter to me. Just get 25 with the bar arm, remember? Energy's coming from the core, the body, the shoulder, but not the arm. So I'm just, one, two. Seven, seven, Boom. Same time. Beginning of separation. Switch hands. Same thing on the other side. All right, to the shoulder bump. Ready, set. Remember, you don't have to use the ball, you can just bump. It's okay. Build up to it. You want to hit when the ball hits. Ball hits, shoulder hits. All right, next side. No cycles on this. You're just done. This is not a this is a skill workout. This is not a strength workout. So we're good there. Last one I want to do, I actually want to bump off and get into a shot. So this would be like what NBA guys do to get separation. The defenders are so fast, just bumping may not get you a shot. So we're gonna bump step off. Here's what I'm asking for: guards, bar arm. Guards, you're here, and you're gonna do a little dribble, and when you drop it. You're gonna give a forearm bump using your body for power. Don't push off, that's illegal. I'm gonna drop it, boom. And when I do, I'm gonna step out. So here I go, boom, step out and into my shot. Just that. That's all we're looking for. So guards, looks like this, and boom. I'm using a cross step because I can get farther. Ready, set, up. And get into your shot. If you have enough space, you can flip the fingers. Just don't break your house. Your mom's going to shut it down. You know that. Or your dad. Do that on both sides. Pass five on each side. Five on each side. If you're a forward, use the shoulder bump, please. 
Now, at the high post, you might use that bar arm, but let's use the shoulder. So, uh, guards, your bar arm, forwards, your shoulder. So I'm, and I'm jumping back to shoot because I'm a forward near the basket. So here I come again. Oh, sorry, would you like to go through? Thanks. All right, here we go. And boom. And I step out, almost like a step back. So again, forwards, maybe you just caught the ball. And you're catching, you're kind of in here wiggling. And you go, pop, and get up. Practice that. Five times left, five times right. Now, forwards, for your knowledge, if I bumped here and went, I would get up into a baby fade, and I'd shoot kind of a normal shot. If I were the other direction, I would shoot kind of a hook, like this. And I'd shoot over the top. So practice both of those. I'm going to go ahead and do them. You do them at your pace. Five left, five right. Hopefully you're about done. Five on each side. And for the finish, actually no, I'm gonna stop there. I wanna save the next one for next time. This was a strength building, hopefully, strength building workout. You did more than I did on video because I'm trying to save you time. I'll finish mine up a little bit later here as soon as the video's off, get the kids going to bed. For you, hopefully you did them all. Congratulations then. Next time we meet tomorrow, it will be a skills and rest workout, skills and recovery. In skills and recovery, we won't do any of that muscle failure stuff because we did some of that very little throughout the whole body. And now we won't worry about it again. We'll just focus on using the ball, using our body to our advantage without pushing muscles to failure. So if you're still here with me, God bless you. Thank you for making our team better. The better the team is, the more fun everybody's gonna have. You, madame, are one who creates fun. And God made you for that. See you next time, bye.